Hi everyone, I am so excited that it is National Ice Cream Month, a month to celebrate my absolute favorite treat, ice cream. And so this week I'm bringing you five of my most favorite recipes that are quick and simple. Today's ice cream is the final one. I'm almost sad. Since ice cream is my favorite treat, I could go on forever giving you recipes for ice cream. But this fifth and final one will have to do for now. This one starts the same as any other. Whisk your eggs, but instead of sugar, I'm gonna add one tub of marshmallow cream. I usually use this at Christmas to make my easy fudge recipe, but with the ice cream, it sweetens it and flavors it and gives it a great unique taste that I think you're gonna love. Add milk and cream. Finish it off with just a little bit of vanilla and this ice cream is ready to go. If you don't like ribbons of the marshmallow cream throughout the ice cream, you want to use an electric pan mixer or your electric mixer to make sure the marshmallow cream gets evenly beaten and broken up into the milk and cream mixture. But if you're like me and love chunks or ribbons of marshmallow cream, leave it kind of in this chunky consistency and then as it freezes it will form more ribbons throughout the cream. It's up to you, either one is delicious. Once it's mixed together, you want to make sure to place it in your fridge and pre-chill it. This is good for all ice creams as it just helps your ice cream freezer freeze it more consistently and gives you a creamier texture. After you've pre-chilled it, just make sure to follow the manufacturer's instructions on your ice cream freezer. Mine takes about 20 to 30 minutes and once it's done, any countertop model will only give you a soft serve consistency. To get that more hard serve consistency, you just need to make sure to put the ice cream into an airtight container and place it directly into your freezer and let it freeze for at least two hours. It'll be much harder and easier to scoop. But I can hardly ever wait to do that and have to eat it right away, but you be the judge. It has been so fun bringing you five of my favorite recipes for ice cream this week. And I hope you're enjoying National Ice Cream Month as much as I am. There are so many great recipes and I hope you can see after this week that it is so simple to make an ice cream that we can all do it at home and I hope you all start doing it at home.